On this Monday, uh, it is a nice start, I would say. Are we in slow motion? I don't think so. It's a good start because a lot of us are going to have the day off. And you know what? It's really quiet out there, a nice quiet pattern. Uh, the winds are light to near calm across much of the area. Therefore, there could be some patchy fog or just some low lying clouds out there. But overall, we are dry on the radar. Dry for much of this week, all thanks to this high. That's right now over the Gulf waters, but eventually, of course, it's going to slide on over uh, over Florida, by the way, by around Tuesday, tomorrow, later in the afternoon, the center of that high right over southwest Florida. So we'll actually have a flow out of the southwest that's going to really help to warm things up each and every day. But eventually the high does pull away by Wednesday out of the southeast. So that southeast breeze will pick up some speed too on Wednesday. Wednesday will be a breezy day, uh, but then the winds will lighten up as we head into Thursday. Now, with the breeze up on Wednesday, the temperature, I'm keeping it around 84 degrees, but you're going to see a jump from Wednesday to Thursday when it comes to those daytime highs. Temperatures right now in the 60s across much of the area. So 65 degrees in Sebastian down to Vero Beach, Fort Pierce at 63. Wellington at 66 degrees, 68 Boynton Beach warm spot is West Palm Beach at 70 degrees. And then we all warm up to the low 80s, close to the mid 80s in the Palm Beaches. Winds mainly out of the south southwest at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Uh, could be a little higher than that right along the beach. Uh, but other than that, uh, going to the beach is going to be a nice day to do that. Just be careful that the rip current risk is still high. So be careful for beachgoers and for boaters. A light chop out there sees two to three feet overall. Nice day to enjoy the holiday. All right, Treasure Coast and the Palm Beaches tonight. We're dropping basically in the low and mid 60s out there. And what you're going to notice is, as I mentioned, a huge jump in the highs when we go into Thursday. Once those winds lighten up, Thursday's forecast high will be in the upper 80s. The record high for West Palm Beach is 88 degrees. And that's the day that the Honda Classic begins. Uh, honestly, it's going to be a beautiful weather forecast through the weekend for the Honda Classic and for all the events that are happening this weekend.